All right, everyone, in today's new video, I'm fishing, fishing with the iconic Zoom Brush Hog, as you can see right here. This is their iconic creature style bait. Great way to mimic crawfish, bait fish, and especially the lizards. And we're going to be uh, mimicking lizards for today's video. So I'm currently using the California 420 pattern. This is a really nice uh, dark, uh, dark uh, watermelon uh, red color, as you can see right there. I like it a lot, you guys. Nice natural presentation. We're just going to go ahead and flip it over here right along the wall good spot right there let me see what i can grab for today's video picked it up let's go right here there you go right on the brush hog oh, nice little small guy but i'll take him though it's bass number one running in the bottom of the mouth right on the california 420 brush hog that's what what i'm going to be using for today's video y'all i'm going to get him unhooked and put him back real quick all right, y'all, we're looking good today. Right on the California 420 Brush Hog. It's an awesome full-size lure. It's bleeding a bit. I better put him back in the water, but there he goes. Let's see if I can grab another one real quick on the Brush Hog. He was just right over here along the uh, along this log, this tree, which is really nice for today, especially since the sun is out. So let's see what else I can grab real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over there again. And he just took off with it too. As soon as as it was falling, he just zoomed, took it, and boom. It was definitely a hungry bass. Let's see what else I can grab. Dropping it by the brush. Something just picked it up again. Let's go. All right. Just right by the brush right over there. He's just another small bass, but I'll take him. Looks like we're starting off the video with uh, two small bass. Yeah, this, this guy's actually smaller than the other one. And he took a full-size uh, brush hog, which is pretty nice. So... Let me go get my pliers real quick. Just right over here, it's all good. Yeah, he was just right over there by the, uh, I'll point it out in a second, but uh, he was just chilling right by some brush. I was like, let me go ahead and just flip it right over there real quick. And boom, there he was. In fact, let me go ahead and just grab my stuff and put him back over there. But uh, yeah, it's best small little guy. I got him on top of the mouth right here. Just let me go ahead and get him out real fast. There you go, right there. Just gonna go ahead and put it back right here, but it's bass number two on the brush hog. Not the baby brush hog, but the full, so full size. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here, y'all. He just, he just picked it right up like it was a lizard or something. In fact, that's what we're, we're mimicking for today, but look at the size of this. The full size of brush hog, nice and bulky, y'all. Let's keep going. Here it is right here, California 420. Looks awesome, you guys. Great way to, to mimic a crawfish, bait fish, and especially a lizard. This is awesome, you guys. But it was just right over there. Just let me pitch it over there, right between the... It was just right in that spot right there where he took off with it. As it, as it was falling down, he just picked it right up and just took off. But yeah, you guys, that's bass number two in the brush hog. Hopefully, I can grab some more for today. Catch some, catch some bigger ones too, which would be nice. But yeah, we're off to a pretty good start over here, right by the vegetation, right by all the trees. Let's keep going. Uh oh, got tangled up. Let's continue on. Let's search it for bass number three and more. So far, we're at two. I got some new red hooks at Bass Pro Shop. I love these hooks. Nice, thick EWG hooks from Gamagatsu. I think they're called the offline or offset or off. I don't. I forgot. But uh, they're the bulkier like hooks, which I, I prefer honestly. Let me see what I can grab over here with the brush hog California 420. Hopefully the bass are active right now. Mr. Turtle, where are the bass? Let's go over here. Let's just flip it right over here by this turtle. I'm just really, I'm just honestly just swimming it back like a lizard or something swimming in the water. But this looks so awesome. All red right here. I need to get my red bullet weight. Possibly. If I want to match it all, but. Did the water get murkier? I don't know. It looks like the water is a bit dirtier. 
hopefully it's not just me hopefully it's just the I don't know I mean I don't remember if it rained or not I don't think it did right through the brush right here guys right here yes let's go Bass number three on the brush hog here's right but and here's right in between those those sticks right here let's go awesome this is a good bass too I like it all right right there in the brush hog let's go cool let's go right there in, in the in the in the sticks perfect spot oh man I just I just got him right there you guys that's crazy go ahead and put him back it's a good bass best one so far for the video he was just rockaway city he was just right there you guys in in the brush and the bushes and the trees the branches it, that was crazy that's what you're probably going to expect right now with the heat coming back and bass being active but let's go for number four that, that was awesome just letting it slide right here something picked it up let's go all right bass number four Oh, there you go. This is a good bass. This is probably the biggest bass so far on the on the brush hog. But there you go, you guys. Right there in the brush hog from Zoom. This is probably gonna be the last bass of the evening. That was bass. This is bass number four. First two bass were small, but this one is definitely the biggest one of the of the video. So I'm gonna get him hooked real quick and put it back for y'all. This is awesome. He was just right there. I was just letting it fall, you know, just letting the, the wind, the current take the bait, and he just picked it up right there, you know. Saw it like it's a falling lizard, but let's go ahead and put him back. All right, everyone, this is a solid bass. He was just right over there in the shallow and the banks. It's low light conditions. He probably saw this as a lizard, which is what I'm mimicking for the video. But like we said, he probably saw it as a lizard and just took it right there, you guys. But that was awesome. That was a good way to end the video. In fact, I'm just going to do one more cast over here. Why not? I mean, he just picked it up and took away with it. I mean, as it was falling, let the current, the drift, you know, take it away, and he just picked it up, and boom, just saw the line tying up, and he just took away. That was awesome, you guys. This is an awesome bait. Probably the most versatile, most iconic creature-style bait out there from Zoom. I mean, you can mimic a whole bunch of stuff. You know, crawfish, bait fish, and lizards, but, yeah, you guys, that was awesome. All right, everyone, so that pretty much does it for this video. So I did catch about four healthy bass on the on the iconic Zoom Brush Hog, as you can see right here on the California 420. It's pretty much a dark watermelon red, and it's really good to use in all sorts of water. It's a nice, like, you know, like I said, dark watermelon red with the red flakes, which is really nice and looks really nice in the water. And, and plus, on top of that, bass can see red very well. That's also why I added a red hook, which is a nice finishing touch. But, um, yeah, you guys, so the first two bass, they're pretty small. It's proof that just because you're throwing a full-size Brush Hog doesn't mean you're going to catch, you know, big bass. You know, you're still gonna catch like small bass and big bass. You know, bass all different sizes and all. And no matter what size you're using, if you're using the regular size or the the mid size or the baby brush hog, you know, just because you're using a a certain size doesn't mean you're not gonna catch a big a big one or a small one. But uh, yeah, you guys. So like I said, that was about four healthy bass on the brush hog. This is such an awesome bait to mimic crawfish, bait fish, and lizards. This is definitely your, your lizard presentation, which I which is why I love using it. In fact, I'm gonna continue using this for a few more videos coming up, especially since you know March is here warm weather lizards are out and then springs just the pre-spawns coming up right around the corner you guys so expect to see more of the brush hawk in the upcoming videos you guys but you know like what i said you know thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe especially if you're new to this channel if you like fishing content this is definitely the right place for you and uh until then you guys i'll see what else i'm gonna throw like what i'm either gonna do either a brush hog or some other creature style lizard bait coming up but until then you guys i hope you have a great evening and i'll see you guys next time take care here it is right here everyone california 420 full-size brush hog Definitely has that lizard presentation, which is awesome, you guys. You can see the crawfish imitation, bait fish, and lizard. But like I said, I love using this for lizards. Anyways, I just wanted to show that real quick. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.